What's going on? KSA Chris here, The Real Estate Blitz. Uh, want to do a quick one. Got a question from Orca Holmes. Hey, Chris, how do you think a virtual brokerage can structure their entire organization as a team? Whew, that's a complicated question. Extremely complicated question. If you talk about a virtual brokerage, that in itself is a, a complicated uh, challenge. That's a challenge in itself. However, I'll do my best to answer it based off of what I've experienced with uh, one team in particular that did it extremely well, does it extremely well. Um, and it pretty much is a, it's pretty much a virtual brokerage, the way that the team is set up. And they do about 40 deals per month. Um, so, you know, they, they do get a return. It's a smaller team. Um, so this is what they basically do. It, and I think, I feel like I've done a video on this and I'm going to hate myself if I did, but um, they basically have built in an accountability program. So first thing in the morning at, at seven in the morning, um, everybody gets on to a live call, everybody within the team. And the goal is uh, to walk through who has done what, who has followed up on what leads, who has what deals that they're working um, and they basically spend about an hour, half hour going through all the inbound leads that came in, who's working, what, and what's going on. I think the big one is, um, as long as there's accountabilities in place, you can easily structure almost anything in this business. The hardest part I've seen for real estate agents is just actually being held accountable. They will not, most agents will not hold themselves accountable and are not self-starters. So if you're going to build a virtual brokerage where you're not actually able to have your thumb or eyes on people day to day, uh, so you can find out where they are or what they're doing or what's going on, you need to find a way to actually build in either uh, sort of like a, maybe like a coaching program to where, you know, once a week, it's a 30 minute call. Um, there's somebody that is actually managing the, the agent, somebody that's walking through what are they doing to create leads? What are they doing to mature leads uh, or nurture leads? And what are they doing to close out, convert and close out leads um, for overall customer satisfaction? So that's a really tough one. I think by doing all those things, it's no different than what a team does. And if you're going to structure it now as a team, now you're talking about what value outside of just showing up and being allowed to be in the brokerage are you giving? Um, so now you need to get into inbound leads. Uh, most teams are going to give anywhere from 20 to 40 leads per month for agents to work. And then there's the accountability to ensure that they're doing them in order to get conversion. Um, you got to think about what other value you're going to give. Are you giving them uh, CRMs? Are you giving them, um, you know, uh, marketing? Are you giving, what are you giving them? So if you can do all of that uh, virtually, uh, whether it's through Canva with design work, if it's uh, general design work, if it's uh, placeholders where people can pull social media content from the main business page to their own and repurpose that stuff, uh, along with uh, lead generation. So instead of saying, here's how you fish, you give them fish, and you can also create an online training program. I think that's how I would structure a virtual brokerage and how I would implement it. That's all I got for you. Appreciate it. Orca Holmes. And uh, yeah, best of luck to you. Bye.